Excellent. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Tony Estevez. And, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I deliver creative workshops on public speaking and how to improve communication. My business is liveextremeenergy.com. Contact me if you like. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll do some, presenta uh, some presentations up here in the future. Hello, my name is Siggy Strafczynski. Um, by day, I work in, thank you, I work in energy efficiency with new housing construction, and by night, I test theories on performance apprehension for improv presentations. <laughs> I'm Jonathan Mineta. Uh, I do environmental, uh, uh, environmental stuff for greenhouses. That's interesting. Yeah, maybe, maybe our slides will be related. Probably not. <laughs> Hey, I'm Gonzalo Riva. I'm not actually supposed to be up here, but I decided I'm going to be John's uh, blindfolded assistant for his five slides, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is Catherine Cross. I'm an industrial designer who just came over to Canada from Germany. I'm looking for a job, so if anybody likes to help me, that's why I am. <laughs> who is going first? Tony's first, second? Just to clarify, when you say switch over, after, after, after my five slides, just the next week. The next, after five slides, there's a slide that switch. That's what you're Fantastic. After five seconds, it's an axe of white. Wonderful. Just before we get started, should we give a big round of applause to Vivian and to all the organizers for tonight? It's been a lot of fun. Thanks. Fantastic. So, it's important for tonight's presentations that you absolutely follow all the rules and make sure that, uh, you know, you don't try anything abstract. You don't try and bring any of your artwork on your carry-on luggage because if you bring your artwork onto the airplane, it's, it's going to be uh, not just confiscated, but we're going to actually set it on fire in front of you. <laughs> so we highly recommend that you be a gentleman and keep your, uh, your artwork in your, your, your underneath luggage, right? Uh, Please uh, adjust your dress if uh, if you're a gentleman. Uh, you, you've got to you got to be courteous to the to the other people in the audience. Still, keep courteous. And, uh, okay, so this team. Hmm. What, what can we say about our, our favorite hockey team in this town? Uh, better luck next year. Uh, how could I how could I say? Uh, I, I it just when I used to be a professional hockey player. They put me right down there, but, but uh, I, I don't know what else I can tell you except for, yeah, if we go back a little bit in time, then, uh, you know, it, it brings it all together that uh, you really, again, have just got to leave your creative art not in your carry-on luggage, and please just, uh, please fly safely, and, uh, and just trust your friends and your family, and, and really enjoy yourself and, and have a safe trip. Oh yeah, and if you get confused because the TTC signs are just sort of all over the place, you're not alone. You're not alone. It doesn't matter what country you're from or what city you're from, the signs should be international. I fully agree with that. And we wish you the best of luck, and uh, we hope you follow your yellow arrow. Have a lovely evening. That's fine. Okay. Very nice. So here we have an example of Jim Henson's later days where he started really experimenting with adult Muppeteers. And as you can see, his psyche really just went off the deep end. Um, he experimented not only with Muppets, but with baking in his later years. As his dexterity went from his fingers and he was unable to operate Muppets, he found that the icing was a much more malleable surface than the delicate strings of um, using a, a Muppet or even a puppet. <laughs> and even after that, <laughs> later on, uh, he really found that simple strokes, even just as glazing over the icing on top of a, a cake or a pie left him and he was stuck with being able to wield a very sharp butcher knife and well, there we have the response, and hopefully you didn't use the butcher knife on this nice young, I believe this is a woman, um, selling some wonderful wares somewhere in, I believe this would be Southeast Asia. 
hard to tell from the photo. He had traveled there early um, in his career, and it was a source of inspiration for his great success as a Muppeteer. He was a big fan of cheap snacks in Japan <laughs> on the street at night, particularly chicken skewers. Um, this man, completely oblivious to tips or even what that word would mean, <laughs> just so long as you had $5 or 500 yen. And Jim Hansen loved it. Thanks, that was a, uh, a perfect segue into this very, very important issue. Uh, which we'll get to right now. Uh, black and white photos. Uh, it's a, a, a re who's a photographer in this room? Okay. I hate them. They're terrible. I mean, you just want to avoid them at all costs. Uh, isn't that right, Gonzalo? Yeah, especially with the texture on this one that I think is <laughs> trying to be a bit sort of Ansel Adams, but in a, it's just turning into a group of seven or something. It's, it's really weird what they're trying to accomplish with the landscape. Um, yeah. Or the metaphorical landscape, if it's not in fact a landscape. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Ab absolutely. It's very, very, very vertical. And this, this, this next one is very, has, has a lot of movement to it. Uh, it's, uh, one, one could say it's very... Um, it, it, it's very, it's an underground piece. Uh, it's, uh, it's interesting you say that, because with bar graphs, I always find <laughs> that, that the hardest thing is to get the scale right on the x-axis and the y-axis. Which is why I, I imagine they've left it out of this uh, presentation. Fair enough, fair enough. And so it's, uh, it's a picture. Sure, uh, smoking. Uh, you, you never want to uh, be smoking anything when you're selecting a font. Uh, <laughs> For the designers in the room, I think. Uh, Unless you're Jim Henson, I suppose, because then, if it's in your later years, you might get really creative, and as as, as is evidenced by this, this uh, this new photo, uh, quite 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 a, a, a cubic, almost. Yeah, yeah, I'm a big fan of architecture when it's uh, it's done right. You know? <laughs> so, I'd say this is sort of post-feminist, or, sure. or maybe maybe structural. Something about my life back in Germany. This is, uh, well, actually, that's a postcard from Berlin. It shows you all the um, subway stations, tram stations, and bus stations. It's not easy to orient it, to get oriented in that big city, but um, yeah, it's, uh, you get used to it. And as I know, you Torontonians. Oh, that's from my city, actually. <laughs> um, it's it's a bit bigger um, than Toronto. It's um, not very green, as you see, but um, it's full of lovely places where you can g get something to eat, and uh, what else? Yeah, post post office and everything. That is uh, a supermarket. Uh, it looks very Canadian, actually. Uh, <laughs> looks like lovers. Maybe they um, expand to Europe. No, I have no idea. Maybe I should go back and just check it out. Um, <laughs> yeah, what's next? <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, um, this is just the market. Like you can find it in the South Bridge, very warm. You can get some coconut and sweets. Um, we have some uh, Asian migrants too. And uh, well, I love baby coconut actually. That's the one in front of that. Um, I had it first in Nuremberg on an Asian festival. Um, yeah, I really liked it. And uh, oh, that's a phenomenon that happens a lot, I think, all around the world. Um, people just using their mobiles instead of talking to each other and uh, uh, having social connections uh, the real way, like looking into uh, each other's eyes and stuff like that. Um, well, I don't like it. <laughs> that's why I'm here, because I can see you the way you are. Okay, thank you. Thank you.